Many tools are actually composed of two or more simple machines. They are called compound machines. This shovel is a compound machine. It is used as a lever and the wedge-shaped edge of the shovel blade makes cutting into the ground easier. The wheel and axle are easy to see in this pencil sharpener. Inside are wedge-shaped blades that cut the wood away. This compound machine is made up of three simple machines. Can you tell what they are? This can opener uses a wedge-shaped blade to cut into the metal of the can. The handles are levers. The longer the handles, the easier it is to cut into the can. The crank works like a wheel and axle. Here is another compound machine. It is used to trim tree branches. Look at it closely and identify the simple machines. The blades are wedges designed to cut through strong wood. The handles provide leverage. They are levers. The handles are long to create greater leverage and make it easier to cut into thick branches. An axe is another example of a wedge and a lever. The longer the handle, the greater the leverage. In other words, a long handle will make chopping easier. Look at this compound machine carefully. Can you identify the two simple machines that are used in its design? The blades are wedges for cutting. The handle and blades are a lever, actually two levers, using the same fulcrum. See where the fulcrum is? Effort is applied to the handles and the blades cut the resistance. These metal cutters are used to cut through strong metal. Can you tell why the handles are so long? Long handles make it easier to cut through tough metals. This is a lever, so you want the effort far from the fulcrum and the resistance close to the fulcrum. Find the two simple machines in this compound machine. It's easy to see the wheel and axle. The rest of the wheelbarrow is a lever. The handles are where the effort is applied. The bin is where the resistance is stored. The fulcrum is at the wheel.